Welcome to episode 52 yes, of sir. Brown Bag Baby. Bolsita right. Cafe. This feels good. We already passed our one year birthday. Yep. Brown Bag Live BBL. That's right. Has BBL. been announced. BBL. July 29th. If you haven't got your tickets, get your tickets. If there's even still available, to be honest, Low this key. drops on Friday. I don't know if they're even here, but it's really dope to see how much people support it. If you were someone that got a ticket or are going to get a ticket, the meet and greet, all of that, we can't wait to see you. Yeah, In that no was way. crazy. Huh? How many? Um, how many? We should, as we're recording right now, yeah. we, we put it live like about an hour ago. Yeah. And we're just going crazy with that shit. We got the call phone call from, from our good friend Dom. Yes. Shout out and Dom. it's just it's all positive shit. So man, keep kidding you guys. If we do have a couple tickets more left, we might add some more. Who knows? Yeah. Make sure you press the, the link in the description under this video. And yeah, That's go run it up. Yeah, I'm so excited. I, I feel like still like buzzing energy, like mm -hmm. that like uh butterflies in the stomach kind of thing of just like damn, this shit is happening and mm -hmm. we're moving tickets. And it's just on a our own feeling. too. Yeah. This is that's what makes it feel so much better. Is like low key, like Bad Bunny's an independent artist. It's like Bad Bunny vibes, like being able to really show out at the El Rey, and it's us independent. Yeah, yeah, the El Rey yeah. is crazy. That's like you. a whole different level of like LA shit because you know, like the Roxy's, the Novos, mm -hmm. but El Rey is also like one of those big stamps. Yeah, El Rey's like the low key big homie. Yeah, yeah. And if you came out to our first live show, I know a lot of you did. Uh, this one is, you can sit down. We did standing room last time, yeah. and we could have done standing room this time, but it's like, no, nah, let's let's have this them seated and yeah. enjoy it. Like, yeah, it is a show. Yes. Yes. Yeah, damn, that's crazy. It's a theater. It's a theater. Yeah, it's a theater. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fun fact about the El Rey. What? It just came up on my feed. Um, do you guys remember, well, I don't know if you do know, but Letty, you remember that song, um, Dollars and Cents by DJ yeah, Quick? Yeah, DJ Quick. If when, it don't make dollars. Don't oh, wait, no, I think sense. it's. No, Safe and Sound. By DJ Quick. Yes. Yeah. When he's talking about the the fight at the El Rey Theater and somebody got killed. Oh, shit. And it's at, it's at the El Rey Theater. That, that fight's amazing. That's such it's an LA thing. It's a gangster rap oh ass thing. You know what I'm saying? I was listening to it. I mean, you know, shout out to the person that, that lost their life. But, shout out to um, them. I mean, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Um, but I was just I like, like, oh, shit, this fact. is very... Yeah. This is very legendary this is LA, LA. Shit. Mm -hmm. and who knows what happened like in the twenties or thirties right. whenever it like you know uh, was first built. So it's just super exciting. It's part of LA history, and, and you know we're gonna be. And so are part we. That's right. Let's go. I know. Let's that's go. what's crazy about it is that yeah, that's just gonna be fun. That's just gonna be tight as fuck. Yeah. And then we got special guests, our family. Because last time we did a show nine months prior. It's like a month and a half, like nine months. Like, I mean, like nine days prior to the live oh, show. Oh, yeah. I'm like, hold on. We didn't have nine months. <laughs> no, yeah. Like nine days yeah. prior to the live show. And we just did it like off the string. Yeah. And we booked that shit ourselves. And it was like. And we sold that out. Yeah. We sold that out in this one. So that shit's going to be fucking and lit. That shit was so much fun. That that time after the live show, I was on a natural high for like two days. I love that. And that was like. October, so that was like fall vibes. Yeah, this is summer vibes, motherfuckers. This That's shit right. is gonna be lit. <laughs> this is gonna be a fucking function with hella perre on that bitch. All activa. All super activa is gonna be there. <laughs> That's a new word. Yeah, and that, activa. Well, it's not a new word. People been using it, but it's new word on the podcast that now people are using. Yeah. Activa is gonna be activos in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what are you That's doing in the green room? Because I'm gonna be there's thinking. two green rooms. You okay. and you and Angie could be over there. <laughs> he already scouted the place. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Josh, and I'm saying they're gonna get a crack at the other green room. Fuck with the couple, we're gonna have our fuck with the couple, we're gonna book our own DJ for our green room. <laughs> <laughs> be late for the show. Be late for the show. <laughs> Have a section up there? Hey. All right. Well, Where's thank you guys. At, we can't <laughs> wait. It's going to be July 29th. It's going to be a fun time right in the middle of summer. Un verano con brown bag. And it doesn't end there. We have a lot more planned to make it un verano con brown bag. Maybe some day clubs, maybe some just vibes, but just know we're here. Exactly. We're excited right. for this shit. That's right. going to be so much fun. It's going to be great. Let's get it. Yes. And we're all pressuring Big Stad. Big Stad, if you're watching this, Big Stad's Carp Club. Okay, so my dad doesn't watch it. But shout He's, out to the stylistics, they watch it. Oh, the okay. stylistics watch and it. Shout out to Vic's mom. Why doesn't your dad yeah. watch it? He says your mom watches it. No, no, no. He says yeah, that right, he dude. wants it to like. He wants me to be able to speak freely without trying to like 
hurt his feelings mm. or just kind of like oh like him like be a da- like him, yeah. yeah like get into that I want to be I like think you shouldn't say you that you shouldn't said that yeah. he said I just want to let him do his thing and I respect wow. that that's cool that's that's yeah. but that's, he but what he does he really supports he posted on Facebook I'm not really on Facebook but people like We're his popping. car club yeah. members I was over at the picnic uh, or the anniversary like thing over the weekend for the the car club. And a lot of people are like, hey, I love your podcast. Your dad put me on to it and stuff Amazing. like that. So he definitely supports. That's fire. Yeah. I'm, damn, that's going to be fun. We have to start listening right there with the... I'm a, we yeah, need a, just one lowrider. Like, like that should be one. fire. We, we could bring my dad's. And we do a Easy. photo shoot. Yeah. Photo yeah. shoot. And it's brown. I, like, I told you, I always wanted to be one of those girls, one Letty's of the lowrider like, models. Have you seen the like, car? It's brown. Let's fucking go. And it, it was on the cover of Lowrider Mag. Let's fucking go. Fire. That's my dream. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Can you Photoshop me, Lowrider Magazine, and me? Fucking. <laughs> <Randomly, laughs> like it's not too late. Randomly, yeah. randomly the cars in the cut, let you just taking pictures for a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. that would be cool. But speaking of dads, Father's Day is this coming Sunday. That's Your right. dad doesn't listen or watch. My dad yeah. doesn't watch either, but I don't. my dad doesn't know how to work YouTube either. Um, <laughs> Do you put stuff on YouTube for him? No, I, I'll put like the game on, which we're going to talk about Dodger game. Okay. Yeah. But, tough yeah. Listen, tough, What's tough. the most embarrassing thing, since your dad doesn't watch, that your dad's done? Um, embarrassing dad moments for, for Father's Day. Let's smoke do that. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking big. But I, I just, I, I, for some reason, you skipped me. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I didn't want you to feel bad. I love Father's Day. I celebrate it with my mom. I love that. Uh, man, I'm trying to think the most embarrassing thing. My dad did, um, man. I mean, it, it's a few. It's a probably a few things like, oh, okay. I remember on my on my twenty first birthday, super embarrassing. Uh, my dad is very affectionate, especially when he's drunk. So he gave me the biggest hug. Yeah, he oh, was really like, like, yeah, he's like yeah, that. I yeah. finally met you. Yeah, that so, was amazing. So on my twenty first birthday, I had had like a big party at the crib, and then. Um, he was like, we're going to dance. And I'm like, what do you mean we're going to dance? <laughs> He's like, we're going to dance. You're 21. I was like, what the? What are you talking about? He was so drunk. And then, like, we kind of, like, sort of danced. It was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I don't know. Is that where it? you got the bunny hop from? No, I don't know. Like, like it was just it Yeah, was what so song weird. was it? Tiempo de Vals or what? <laughs> I don't even know. It was so embarrassing. Come I wanna, on, you I want to forget. No, I don't remember the song. I have, like, selective memory. Uh. I just remember how embarrassing it was. But people thought it was hilarious. Right. And then we just carried on with the party, and I was like, "What the fuck just happened?" People were like recording, probably, yeah. But this was like 2000, I don't know what. It was like nine years ago, <laughs> so like the camera quality is very low. Yeah, <laughs> <Thank God. laughs> luckily, yeah, luckily <laughs> they didn't catch me in 4K. Um, what about you? So my dad, I, I we, I feel bad, Loki. I'm thinking of this back, like as an older person, we used to make him park like five blocks down. He used to pick us up from school, and we used to make him park, make him park like five blocks down, so we, he wouldn't pick us up in front of school, so people wouldn't see his car because he always had like a car from the subasta. That's like the oh, the, the auction. auction. But it was always like a janky car that that didn't turn on the first time. Oh. So it had like, duh, 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 duh. and we're like, Dad, just go pick us up over there. And I remember that was so blocks? embarrassing. Yeah, like, we'll meet you there. We'll walk. So by the time people are like, even if it was one block, that there are still kids. So by the time you hit five blocks, it's like at least the kids have dispersed. <laughs> it's a piece of shit, man. Piece of shit, Letty and Monica. No, I get but what yeah. you mean, though, because it's so high pressure. Yeah. In high school, especially that like. You don't want to be made fun of for anything or somebody say that you're poor yeah. or like or your dad doesn't dad, drive this car. Or it's like you just know that you'll be outraged at any type of comment like that. Because I remember, um, so my dad never used to pick me up. He was at work. But my best friend, Frankie, his pops used to pick us up because we like lived across the street from each other. So uh, he was, um, you know, they, they had like a mechanic shop. Mm-hmm. So they had nice cars. But he would always pick us up in his customers' cars, <laughs> like that they were fixing. Hilarious. And it would be a different car every That's time. That's some yeah. mechanic shit. For yeah, yeah, some mechanic shit because they had to go drive and make sure it's good, right? So he would kill two birds with one stone whenever he would pick us up. But it was always like an embarrassing car to be picked yeah. up in for sure. And then we would just, just be like, like getting fast. We would try to get in so yeah. fast sometimes <laughs> in the tow truck, like just hella shit. And we would just be so embarrassed. We're like, yeah. fuck, man. You know what's crazy <laughs> that I that's. That's crazy to think because I feel like whenever, if you just had a car, but I remember if you had a minivan, you were hella cool. 
Yeah, so but like kids judge. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's yeah. If my dad picked me up in front of school and you went to school with me and the car wouldn't start, you would clown me. <laughs> yes, you would. Yes, you yes, would. You Get it started. <laughs> <laughs> Just walking at this point. Yeah. So don't even. It's fine. Nah, nah, nah. I've never went over. It. Nah, I would probably make fun of you. Nah, but not like. Yeah. See, because I was never like an ass. Like I feel like people think like I was like. Nah, bro. I was never judging people for like their lifestyle or like yeah. if they were like unfortunate when it comes to certain things. I would make fun of things that I know you could laugh at too. I mean, obviously sometimes I get personal. Yeah. yeah. But not in a bully way. I was just like. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm going to make fun of you. And you have a big-ass forehead, big toe, or lopsided eyebrow, or whatever the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> or if you're dating a fool that smokes crack, I'm going to get on you. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but not if your dad drives the car that doesn't Yeah, care. fuck no, because, fool, like, be the last to judge dads, right? <laughs> like, imagine me making fun of somebody for their dad coming to pick them up. <laughs> like, where's your dad at? Picking up, you know? <laughs> picking up the work. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Father's Day. My sister was like, what are we doing for Father's Day? On our group saying, I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are we supposed to do? We don't have a dad. Shut <laughs> up, dude. No, you have a dad. No, but dick, but like. Yes. 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 I'm like, bro, what are we supposed to do? And she's like, well, fucking Eric and Adriana have baby daddy. I just want to know where I could go eat. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> looking for the cutness yeah. of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fool, no. Yeah. How do we do shit on Father's Day? Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. The best thing my mom guilts me, like, like guilt me into it, like it. Or like your homies that are dads. Yeah, or like, or a lot like of your homies are dads, no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I should, I'll probably pull up, go say what's up to like my brother and all them, but I probably leave and then go to homies that are dads and shit, get drunk. Gives an excuse to get drunk. Yeah. Good solid fun. Yeah, shout out to Father's Day. You know, I I usually on Father's Day I go to Santa Anita Park. My dad likes horse racing. Oh, that's cool. So I go and like even big up to Jorge because that's not his thing. Mm-hmm. But he'll go because that's my dad's thing. Yeah. And then me and my sister and then my sister's husband goes too. So I really like that. But then we go home and then um, Jorge's dad and Jorge's brother in law will probably come over and we'll probably do like a dinner because tampoco ellos aren't into like horse racing either. Oh. But I like that we could do that for my dad in the day. and then Yeah, that's mm-hmm. cool that there's a tradition at least. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely. always kind of scrambling like on our end. We're oh, like, yeah? What to do? Yeah, in a way, we're just like, because my dad isn't the best planner. So it'll just be like, we, like, yeah, I got a text do? Do from my do? sister last night. Yeah. Like, hey, what are we doing for Father's Day? And I was like, send me to a spa. And she's like, for my dad, stupid. <laughs> 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 my youngest one, she's so mean. My youngest sister, Vanessa. Um, oh, she's the one that just graduated, huh? Yeah. Congratulations to you, wow, Vanessa. Wow, we didn't shout her out. Vanessa, congratulations. What is she doing? She's she, 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 About what? College, work. She's going to be Vanessa. I'm not sure. Let's go, Vanessa. <laughs> you be whoever you want to be. She's going to be the shit, though. And she's going to be You're a gonna boss. You're going to be the greatest at it. Yeah. Especially, like, her two older siblings are, like, popping, popping. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure on her, huh? Maybe, but, but she, she's herself, like, huh? she is so much herself. Like, she is more assertive than me and Brie ever were at wow. her age already. Mm-hmm. Like, she'll, she's the one that'll tell my dad, nah, I'm not doing that shit. Yeah. And we're, we're like, damn, I'm going to talk to my dad like that. I, I danced with him on my 21st birthday, even though I didn't want to. You could never. <laughs> yeah. So, nah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so we're trying to figure it out. I'm like, maybe just a cut and go over my dad's crib, keep it simple. My dad now has, like, a bunch of cool neighbors that we all, like, you know, it's just like the get down. Like we all just, you know, link up and nice. go to Big somebody's block back party. Here. Pretty much. You Fire. Know what I'm so probably gonna do that. Imagine you walk into Vic's dad's house and there might be reggaeton and there are other old guys that are just like this. <laughs> with creased up 501s. <laughs> hey, don't you know I'm local? I'm gonna shut us up right now. The Dodgers, what the fuck happened? Oh, man. Okay, they just had a series with the Giants, and they lost. We got swept. So, like, super San Jalando right now, boys. Super horrible. Loki, I just want to complain a little bit, because it's always so hard to get the Dodger game on, like, on TV. I don't have the drag TV or the Spectrum, because I have, like, a bunch of streaming networks. So then I've tried getting Hulu. I've tried getting Sling. I've tried getting, like, the MLB TV. But because of the blackout shit, we don't get to watch the games. Whenever it's, like, a national It's game. annoying. But then even... um. The last the last Dodger Giants game was away. I'm used to if it's here, we're not gonna get it. Mm-hmm. But it was away and it wasn't even on available. But 
got to work around. And, um, I got a, I got a website for you. If you yeah, need it. hit me up because hey, you, you know it. what they say, fool. El que no transa no avanza. Uh, you know? But my da- but I look here. I just I wish they, it wasn't so hard, so difficult. So yeah, to watch the Dodgers in LA, like make us pay extra. We'll pay extra. Like, but I'm not trying to get full on cable to watch it, or I'm not trying to get like the extra whatever. Like, I just want to fucking stream the Dodgers. Well, they make it that difficult because Spectrum, you know, which is a cable provider, bought the rights to it. So. It's for just them, gross. Like, yeah, for them, no le conviene for you to yeah. like watch it any other way. That's what they paid for the rights for. Yeah, they yeah. paid like so much fucking But then money. they should make it super easy to just get that channel. But see. Like mm-hmm. just get the Dodgers. But see, that's like to. the one problem where like, I think I think the people always talk about like, well, why don't we watch more games? And I'm like, well, because it's difficult to get. It's so difficult. Like the NBA games, all you need is either fucking ESPN or TNT. Mm-hmm. And you go watch any game. And it's literally in a press of a button. You press yeah. Smart Hub and TNT or... What comes out, but yeah, it just feels, yeah, it feels greedy, and I get it. Like, cool, get your money, but it just feels gross. Way easier to go to the game. Yeah, <laughs> so and my dad, my dad listens in the radio. Yeah, but I want him. Dang, to, that's a real fan. Yeah, he listen, listen. Radio, listening to. He'll be outside I in the heat the in game. his van, and that's there what I didn't go. want. I knew if I didn't get the game on, and it's been hot. That he'd be in the van listening, and I'm like, I don't want that for you. Like, let me get this shit. Yeah. So I found it. Found the. Like fucking the connector. <laughs> Shout out Josh. Josh put me on my, all my connectors. Let's go. To oh, watch yeah. the games. Hey Josh, how much did you lose? Uh, shit. Well, don't like because you're a better, uh, right? Uh, Do you ever bet against the Dodgers? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's you bet against the Dodgers. Hey, man, he's a money man. I'm out of it. Emotions in gambling, so yeah. Well, if anything, uh, you kind of hedge your bets when yeah. you bet against your team because if you they know. win, yeah. then you win. Like emotionally, but if you lose, at least you win money. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh. Do you bet against us? <laughs> <laughs> he has odds on us? <laughs> Live show's not going to sell out. Parlays? <laughs> he has parlays on. Hey, oh, hey they've shit. been fighting. I think they're going to break up. Like, who wants oh, to put fuck. a bet on it? Nine to one odds. Come on, man. <laughs> J- fucking Josh hey, will give you the money hey, line. Hey, you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Josh just parlays on. Like, okay. For let's see if Luthie gets mad this episode. Oh. <laughs> I don't After get mad 20th, any episode, dog. After the 20th I get mad minute. outside the episode. <laughs> Man, betting is kind of scary, though. Yeah. Fuck. You can go down a deep, Damn. dark hole. That's <laughs> wild, dog. Josh. Um, but the, when the Dodgers played the Giants, their last game in the series, they were wearing blue on blue, and that should look fire. I look at it and see it. Oh, I heard, it, I heard it was good. Well, it wasn't good. It was bad. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> no, no, but... but. But fucking the fit was fly. Yeah, the fit was fly. That's like having a fly fit. Have they always? They. I felt like I don't I think I've really seen see it them. Before, that all do that shit. Blue. Yeah, it's fire. Yeah. It's blue on blue. Mm. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, but they were playing the Giants over there, and I didn't know the Giants Stadium is um, by the water. Yeah. Like, damn, that is fire. It's fire, right? That yeah. shit is cold. I was like, damn, I'd wear that fit. Shit. Yeah. We're That's swaggy. Cold. Fucking swaggy as fuck. That blue is fire. Does that say Los Dodgers? Yeah. Huh? I don't know. That's hard. Oh, shit. Yeah, but we're losing. Now we're playing the Anaheim Angels. By now, we're probably... <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. I'm telling you. Let's go. Tomorrow? But by now, like, this drops on Friday. Oh, yeah. Will we have three the games in? It's going to be four, I believe. Two over there, but two over here. But by now. Oh, yeah. By Friday. Should we go to a game at Angel Stadium? And just oh, go Oh, my God. We Dodger fucking out? die. Nah. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's actually not, like, it's uh, hostile over there at all. Yeah. Everybody's there to watch a ball game. Yeah. You know? like, yeah, Dodger going to be crack. Yeah. We would definitely stand out at Angel Stadium. Oh, yeah. We would probably run into some fans, though. Yeah, probably a gang of OC fans. Yeah, they tell you, this is my town, not yours. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're going on food that wild. <laughs> That's Get out of so here. Funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a Mexican hangout. <laughs> We're talking about that piece of shit. What a dude. Huh? Okay, yeah, let's, let's get into on, it. Yeah. Let's get into it. So this video went viral of a North Hollywood gym owner. Asshole. Uh, so it was his juice bars opening. And a girl that works for him hired a bunch of vendors. And he sees that a juice vendor is outside. So he goes to the girl and is talking shit to her. And while he's talking shit to her, he's throwing all of these Mexican slurs. He's so gross looking. I know. His muscles don't even look like regular. Jeez. 
this is embarrassing. Yeah. Bro, no, like, that's what's embarrassing? Facts. Not your fucking tennis ball head? Like, that shit is wild. That's embarrassing? Not you wearing fake Supreme underwear is not embarrassing? His like, eyes is crazy, Not having bro. a fucking burnt-ass tan is embarrassing? Like, come on, dog. His name is Jack Tarosian, and he's the owner of this gym. And, you know, a lot of people have been showing support to the vendors. Let these aguas not... Not to be confused yeah. with me. Own Letty has one T in it. Shout out to them, though. Yeah. And showing them support. But you know what? It's the employee that should really get the support. Yeah, so so she DM'd us actually on Brownback when I was checking the DMs right now. Really? She did? Yeah, she had DM'd us, but I also oh, talked to a couple people. So he, basically, the employees um put up, put up like, kind of like a, what is she called? The, kind of like where people all sell food. Like she yeah, even, like yeah. a street vendor thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so they came to sell and they, there's the one that booked the let these hours and shit. Yeah. But then the whole family works here. So that girl, I don't know. I I think her name was Katana or something like that. But her, her mom, her brother, her sister, they all work there, mm -hmm. have different roles. And he's always been like hella mean and shit. I think I see some shit where even his ex-wife spoke out. Yeah. Because they used to call on a bakery. So I did a, a deep dive on this. Yeah. And so that young lady, yeah, she did definitely set it up because he didn't do it. He had her set it up. Yeah. She works the juice bar. Her sister works the front. Her brother helps out. Desk. And the mom cleans everything, right? And she, and. And he's said sorry for this. He's he's initially he wrote this weird like paragraph and he has so many different accounts, which is odd is on itself. But he first said, you know, I'm sorry that I did this. I'm going to work on contacting all the Latino leaders. I don't know which Latino leaders he's contacted. Yeah. And I want to join in the fight against racial equality, which is not a good thing. Like you're saying, you're joining in the fight against racial equality it should be for <laughs> racial equality but it's fine neither here nor there you don't look like you would understand it anyway but then he said i'm gonna also give ten thousand dollars to charity and i'm gonna do an event to, to support latinos and all, while also then he goes on video and blames this girl who is mexican so it's like you're talking shit you're saying you're sorry but then you go on to blame this mexican family saying they steal from me they do this and do that it shows me you're not being accountable it's fake yeah. whether the written one is fake or the the audio one or the, one of them the is video fake. they're all fake to be oh, honest yeah, that's a lawyer statement right there and so the girl and her family walked out they quit yeah. um then the trainers there there's some latina trainers there they they don't want to associate themselves with him the ex-wife you're right because people are like now doxing him and seeing yeah. all his stuff and she's like look he was abusive to me i wish that i yeah. would have spoke out more on social i went about it through the courts and couldn't do anything but i'm glad this is happening at least so you guys see who he really is yeah so she spoke about it, and then i just seen there's this account on instagram I was fucking obsessed with it, Loki, yesterday, where this dude... Oh, I seen he's that He's like shit. a community leader. He just exposes everybody. Yeah, but yeah. He, like, he, he, like, he's down. Like, yeah, he walks yeah. up to him. He's like, what's up, homie? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, so shout he's like out a to community him. leader. I get, I'm gonna get his Instagram. Uh, and then he, he does a lot of shit. He's the one... I don't know if you seen mm -hmm. that viral video of him and his friends. They were all cholos. Yeah. And then they, that, he's one of them. And he, I guess, he got arrested, the, the dude, the piece of shit. He got arrested for, I think, pulling out a gun on one of his employees. Mm. Yeah, you could and tell like, already, like, you could tell that rage. a lot of that actually happened. Yeah, the road rage shit is real with him. And there's even another video where he wasn't paying some workers who were also Latinos, and he was calling him, he was calling them FN F-words, like the, the yeah. gay slur. Yeah. Oh, and, shit. and, like, so even if you tell me that, because what he's trying to make it seem like is we got it out of context. He was mad at this girl for stealing. And then that's why he was so upset. But it's like you weren't talking shit to her. You were talking shit about the vendors, right? And even if that's isolated, you got mad at this girl or whatever, take sides. Because I do understand where you could be upset that she brought juice vendors to your juice bar opening. That doesn't okay all the race, racist shit you said. But then that also doesn't okay all these other bullshit that you do. This, yeah, this and then 100%. Like, and then, like, yeah. So isolated, we can probably get you, but as a pat people or patterns, this is you, bro. Oh yeah, um, I have two quick things to share. So, uh, the page that Duno was talking about is Enamorado Alex, bro, uh, bro underscore crazy on the races. But Instagram actually took down his page. 
Yeah. Yeah, recently. It might be back up by the time this comes out, but um, he's one of like our biggest advocates um, for the Latino know, for community. The Latino very community. big. And to me, it's very like I want to know which Latino uh, leaders this guy said he's like the yeah. owner is going to reach out to. What ten grand and what like like if you really about it, if that's really what you're doing, I want to see it happen. And then, and then also, how about pay your employees? Because yeah. from what the girl was saying, the one that he's accusing of stealing. her stealing, yeah. she put out texts of like, "Hey, this check bounced. What do we do? We need to pay the staff." And him being like, "Oh yeah, it's going to bounce." there'll be a wire or whatever like you're shady and at least the employee has receipts and i just feel bad if he tries to come at her for some bullshit and i hope she knows and if she hit us up hopefully we can get in contact with her that she has our full support like i talk i i I don't mind like this is what we're here for like speaking up for some shit like this like it kind of was like he made it worse than it is by deflecting yes own that shit yeah yeah. don't try to push it off on first hand account of uh shout out crystal the engineer Super uh, talented um, uh, engineer. And she... And she's Latina. Yeah, she's Latina. So she actually has, has her studio in that same facility. Oh, shit. Right well, behind... Like, and I, I've been there. I was there, like, uh, maybe three weeks ago at the studio. And so she said, like, she tweeted, like, hey, this guy's an asshole. Mm-hmm. My studio's right next to uh, his gym. You know, I always hear complaints about, you know, his treatment of Latinos and stuff like that. I'm paraphrasing what she said exactly, yeah. but she pretty much verified from a first-hand account what that this guy is What we think is happening is actually asshole. happening, yeah. And, then, and then, you know what's dope? Um, fucking shout out my homie DJ Pezzo. He's the one that brought it to my attention. He called me. He's like, dude, no, I don't know if you're into it. Like, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm a supporter. So shout out DJ Pezzo. He put out a great statement. But shout out all the other celebrities that used to fuck with this guy came mm-hmm. out and, like, we're like, nah, we not fuck with him no more. We're here for so I know a lot of the people that do the Mayans, they they been to his gym and they the like show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they cut him off. Mm-hmm. Shout out the homie Concrete and then shout out Jimmy O'Mill and them. There was like it El was Ladio like they, too. Yeah, bro. They he's, be, I guess he's starting a gym in Miami. Right. And that's just shut down. And yeah, I guess good. uh Eladio is like based in Miami. So he's like, nah, nobody support this guy. When he comes, don't nobody support his business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's shut down and everything. So I'm I'm happy that there's a big outpour of support from, you know, people from all over, you know yeah. what I'm saying, to not support this guy and to basically for him being a fucking show him his true colors. Yep. Shout out Fools Got Wild too, you know that. Yeah, Fools Got Wild. You know Fools Got Wild had to. The Hood Santa too. Of course. Yep. Uh, también like just with that family, the girl and her mom, and I know that it takes a lot, it takes a lot to walk out of shit like that. Because low key, you having Mexican employees doesn't equal you're not racist because I already know what that comes with. That's probably cheaper labor for you. Clearly, if it's a whole family working for you, you got some kind of deals type shit. Mm-hmm. So don't make like that's not a reason why. Oh, I'm not racist. Like yeah. like for him trying. It's like I don't know. Just the, his apology video was very not authentic because he was just like you know I love Mexican people. I love I love the blacks. I love the Asians. I love the Mexican people. I love good people. You know I have these people, and it's like you can't say that in one breath, but then shit on a Mexican family in the next breath because he yeah. was just trying to t- air it out on this young lady who filmed it, who had the courage to film it. If she had it, people wouldn't know, you know. And she's risking a lot because that's her gig. Oh yeah, you know. But it seemed like she's tired of this shit, and for then other people to confirm it, it's gonna lose. It, it goes against his claim of it's just the family. Or an, it's an yeah. isolated incident. Yeah, it's yeah. like, no, no, no. This is who you are. And hopefully they go find jobs, too. I know in the, yeah. she, I know in the DM she said, like, um, she's like, they're unemployed. So hopefully if anybody can offer them job or yeah. yep. businesses. Because obviously, from what it looked like, it's like, the, obviously, fucking, our family got hired because they must be good at what they do, whether mm-hmm. it's cleaning or fucking running the desk yeah. or the yeah. juice bar. So hopefully you guys are good. Hopefully you guys figure it out. Yeah, fuck that guy. But yeah, fuck that yeah. guy. Damn, the A18. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like how I like how when I caught concrete yesterday, I was like, he's like, fool, that shit's in my background. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, backyard. Yeah, backyard, backyard. Damn, yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. Uh what's going on with the LA Rams? They purchased gap caps. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> They purchase <laughs> caps and gowns for Inglewood High students. Oh, there it goes. That is really dope. That's that's fine. Yeah. I like, I like yeah. that. I think that's dope as fuck. Still Raiders. Facts. That's really good. That's cool beans. No, but that's cool when you come to a an area and you like support the actual community and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, especially when and those kids are gonna remember it. Yeah, I mean they like, have to do. They owe the city of Inglewood a lot. Fuck way, a lot, bro. Because of the them coming in, they you know. 
obviously knocked down a lot of houses, like stuff like that. Like it, it was a big impact on the community. Eventually, I feel like it will be for the better, but in the immediate, it displaced a lot of people. Yeah. And then, and then, like teams need to do shit like this more initially. Like yeah. the Dodgers, because bro, fucking was a guy. Bro, I went to high school. We're only five minutes away from Dodger Stadium. And then I'm like, damn, I wish fucking, yeah, I wish they could have. Because cause I remember me wanting the yearbook, and my mom was like, well, you got to choose one. Mm. And I was like, fuck. But, I mean, I ended up getting both. But that would have been dope if the Dodgers would have paid for my cabin gown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Or the Lakers. That would have been cool as fuck. You feel me? And then I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that went through that shit. So Would you wear a capping gown if the Clippers bought it for you? Yeah, my mom was broke, of course. <laughs> nah, probably not. Nah. Fuck them fools. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not fuck them fools, but I don't know. Letty, would you buy a, a, a cap? I mean, but would you wear a cap and gown if the Angels bought it for you? Probably not. Probably not? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely, Definitely not. not the Angels. What about the Celtics? Hell no. Come on, Vic. I'm just asking. At that point, who needs a cap and gown? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That's fine. If that's all it takes to buy you. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's go to Brown Pride, okay? A lot of these motherfucking race car drivers, shout out to them. The other one we talked about last, uh, I think two episodes ago. Two episodes ago. Um, Formula And now Daniel Suarez becomes the first Mexican-American to win NASCAR series at Sonoma. Big up to you. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but you won, and you're in NASCAR. (laughs) And hopefully that gets us more, like, wanting to be in NASCAR. But it had me thinking, just even seeing these cars, if we had a brown bag NASCAR, that would be lit. What would our sponsors be? What would the (laughs) stick? Hot Cheetos. Michi Chewy. (laughs) <laughs> Let's see for, for Camel Crush Home Femi Suavitel Suavecito This is really good I thought we'd think about it A little bit Fucking more Fucking Tampico New Era Coca-Cola Pinesol What about for the girls Pinesol No not Pinesol For the girls Fucking, yeah. uh, For a girl for, Like a girl in yeah. oh, Fabuloso Fabuloso Fuck, Fucking Moose <laughs> Just Moose <laughs> Moose isn't a brand What's What's the brand for Moose What's like the, the I don't know, I don't even use new moves. Oh yeah, Tresemme. Sharpies. Sharpies. Sharpies for Sharpies sure. Sharpies would be a fire. Hachiros. <laughs> Hachiros in Arizona. <laughs> oh Arizona. Hey, okay, look. Shout out. I just want to give a big shout out to Arizona brand Ice Tea oh, for yeah. n- saying fuck that to inflation. Fuck inflation. You can still get a tall can of Arizona iced tea for ninety nine cents. And it's been the same way since I was a kid. So. That makes me wonder how they make it and why do they have so much? I don't want to think about the particulars yeah, you right now. But yeah. like, <laughs> they kill it, though, bro. If I remember, like, one thing I could always rely on is get in Arizona for a dollar. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. If you're thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that shit was it. What's your favorite Arizona flavor? Ooh, the one that I looked like in that one picture. When oh, the green tea? Sweater. Yeah, I love the green tea green one. Tea. Uh, I'm not a fan of the I green like the tea. kiwi strawberry. I like the green tea kiwi one. Kiwi strawberry or the grape one? Grape. Yeah, the grape one is gas. Oh, no, no. Is this a grape? Yeah, grape, right? The, yeah, the grape the one is one, yeah. gas. Grape Arizona? That shit yeah. is gas. I need to taste it. Especially when they're cold, cold. Ooh. Okay. Hey, now we're not talking about Arizona. What's the craziest mixed drink you did as a kid? Like when you first started drinking alcohol? No, I didn't really have. Like, I just think, what you called? Malibu mm-hmm. and pineapple. I did Malibu and Tang. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? The how many used to do? I don't know. Code 45 and Blackberry 211. <sighs> what the fuck? That shit would change your life. You would chug. Have change the- your life, yes. Like you catch a felony. <laughs> nah, nah. That shit was lit, bro. That shit was next level right there. Pop. next level, bro. You guys got to try it. I'm going to bring you guys something, actually. I know we're getting off subject, yeah. but we need to address this inflation in and out prices. Like, I didn't get oh, your guys' yeah. reaction happened? on that. Okay, so I go to Huntington Park. And I'm going to get, you know, my, usually me and, me and Lil Vic, we always like to go Fridays nice. to, you know, one of many in and outs Yeah, we, no, we just love in and out It's like our yeah. Friday thing. So we went to in and out and then I'm looking at the prices. I'm like, these don't look familiar. And I see $9. Never in my life have I seen $9 for a double double. And it was like nine seventy So it's damn near $10. Mm-hmm. I felt like for so long, it was the same price, like right. my whole life. And that's something you could rely on. Like, oh, okay, you know what's good, what's quality, what's cheap. What's normal price for In and Out? It's like seven bucks, like seven bucks for like the most expensive, like the double double. You're also like rich area In and Out. No, I went to Huntington Park. 
Oh, I'm thinking Huntington Beach. No, no, Huntington Park. Because I said Mac. HP. There was a oh, bunch of Edgars shit. in there. They were. I was like, what? Damn. There's hella Edgars in there. Yeah, there was. Maybe one Edgar switched the six to a nine so they could like come up. <laughs> one Edgar that works at N and I, you think yeah. just went on his way to finesse? <laughs> Hell yeah. Half the city of Huntington. No. You won three bucks. Well, that one Edgar, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Vic was not having it. No, it's just in in like I posted on Twitter and it got so much reaction. Like, yo, inflation is real. Mm-hmm. Like we thought it was a joke and all this shit, but it's like it's really affecting our everyday. It probably comes from like the you know trucks. You know how they have the big ass in and out trucks, like. Fuel is more expensive. Everything mm. is like trickling down. Yeah, you know? the what do they call that? The they call it something when it affects the like supply chain. Supply chain. Yeah, That's supply cool. chain. He's part of the supply chain over there. Let's go. Great. Supply it's a chain. Great term. Yeah. Okay. No me digas. I want to talk about this because fuck, fuck inflation. Inflation is sh- horrible. Yeah, that up. shit is so weak. Yeah. Fuck you, inflation. Shout out Arizona for not um, inflating. Shout out yeah. Arizona. This company. Is offering two thousand dollars to release a hundred roaches in your house for a study. Would you be down to do it? <laughs> I've been to it. <laughs> yeah, just come study the house already. <laughs> just, just come kick it at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> what questions do you want? What do you want to know? How fucking the what their egg look look like? Or what? I wonder why they're why they're doing that. That's so fucking right. weird. Yeah. Well, click on the link. I'll, I'll read more. Two thousand dollars to release a hundred roaches. Ugh. Ugh. The trappers finna go up. They finna, they finna just do it at the trap house. Oh yeah, easy. They're already there. Okay. Wait. Okay, so it's gonna be to see if their cockroach treatments work. So it says the company said all cockroach treatments will be family and pet safe, but homeowners will be barred from using additional cockroach treatments during the duration of the study. Why don't you just go into houses that already have cockroaches and give them free fucking treatment? Oh, maybe they want to have, uh, maybe there's like different kinds of cockroaches and they're like, okay, this type will be killed oh, by yeah, this yeah, thing. No, thank you. Do you have a crazy roach story? I do. Tell me, please. A torch roaches. I torch them. You torch them? I mean, I always torture them. <laughs> like, 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 if I, like, when I was younger, I remember we used to have one at the block. I mean, we used to have one, like, at the house. And one they would, like, one? Like, like, no, one like, roach? Like, just, just one roach? No, no, but it was, like, a roach. And no, I, what? Like, no, you had like, one, like, the same one? It would stick around? No, there was multiple roaches. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, wow. but why are you saying we had one at the no, house? No, I meant to say, like, there was one roach. Okay, there was one roach one time. I remember I was, like, about a shower, and I, like, missed the chancla smashing. And I was like, now you're going to suffer. <laughs> and I like, and I like, and I like close the thing where the water goes through. I closed it. Oh. And then I turned on the water and the dude was just, the roach was just drowning. It just drowned. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, that's how wow, serial that's killers start. <laughs> no, I've never killed anything else. How, how, Are you how, sure? Positive. How, how rats. Big was, we all kill rats. No, we don't. What do you mean? You, you put a trap in and then you throw it into the trash can. That's killing a rat. But I've never done that. You've never had a trap? You've never caught a tra- uh, rat? No. Oh. With a BB gun? But what else have you killed? For sure. Squirrel? Never killed the squirrel. Bird? Never killed the bird. Pigeon? Never killed the pigeon. Drone? You never gave a pigeon rice? Rice? Yeah. I threw saw on a, on a snail before. <laughs> saw on a snail? Okay. <laughs> but I've never done like Michael Myers shit. Like I'm not finna have like. I'm joking, puppy. I'm joking. I was just watching that movie. That was a fucking sick yeah, fuck. Yeah, it happens in real life. What about you, Vic? What's your roach story? Okay, so. It's actually not my roach story, thankfully. So we, <laughs> well, it's partly mine. All right. So when I was like 16, um, my mom and my tia moved in together. And then my cousin, who's my uh, like one year older than me, shout Kevin. Um, we all lived together. It was like a two bedroom apartment and it was like seven people in there. You know, oh, so yeah. Were deep. yeah, we were deep. Right. And it was it was like, you know, not the nicest apartment. So. You know, they threw in some roaches, you know, with the deposit. Love and everything, it. Right. So we had some roaches that we just dealt with them. We're just like, fuck, you know what? Got roaches is what it is. Try to kill them when you find them. But um, what's it called? My cousin at the time, he was dating this girl. Right. So she lived in like a super nice house in Downey. He'll go over her crib. Da, da, da. And then one time, I guess a roach crawled in his shoe. And then so, so for brought it to the crib. He he accidentally took it to her crib, and then 
it came out of his shoe when he took off his shoe because he was going to go swimming. And then mm. he, he killed the roach. And then he left. No, he, and then he walked in. He, he walked in to tell the girl, he's like, hey, you guys have roaches. And I just killed it. Wow. <laughs> what did she tell you when you told her that? I don't think she ever knew. Like, she was like, oh, my God, really? Like, so it was you. No, it wasn't me. Oh. It was my cousin. <laughs> you answered. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't me. Shout out Kevin. He'll verify the story in the comments right now. It's, it right now. Yeah, Do it, bro. He will. It was so fucking funny, but oh the fact gosh. that like he accidentally contaminated her house with roaches, and then uh. he blamed it on her and said, "Hey, you guys have roaches? That's gross." <laughs> <laughs> Little was he sleeping with the roaches every night. <laughs> yeah, we we had a fucking uh. cockroach shish kebab at the crib. Hey, she bro, had no idea. I ain't gonna lie. When you live in the hood, you can't. Sometimes you can't help it. Like sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens. It we've all had roaches and we've all had lice. Get over it. It's yeah. fine. It's la vida. I I never had lice. Yeah. You never had your house? No, you never had lice. Cause. Your hair's always been short? Yeah, it's been short. Your hair had craps? No. Oh, okay. For sure, my sister had lice. Oh, okay. <laughs> For then sure. Then you had lice, bro. No, I didn't have them. Like, oh, because you, he had Yeah, I always had a short hair. Got it. I caught lice one time from you, a girl. Yeah? Yeah, when I was like in She first caught grade. it from you. No, I caught it from her because I saw them in her hair. Like, they were like crawling. Oh, were you playing with her or what? I was, I was kind of close to her. You trying to mac on her? She was kind of hot, you know? <laughs> you trying to get it cracked I'll get some lice for you, girl. I was, like, I was like in first or second grade. I got too close, yeah. you know? That's, that's when I knew. That's Man, when I knew. Lice ain't shit. <laughs> what about you? When did you get lice? Probably when I was younger, too. With us, like, all our cousins gave it to each other. Oh, one of those deals. a group of, of cousins. And then you need that special shampoo. Facts. And that little comb. Oh, yeah. All right, but let me tell my roach story. Oh, yeah. Let me I didn't survive. think you would have a roach story. Of course I have a roach story. Right, let's hear it. Um, I was eating Doritos. Ugh. Oh. I just, I just know it's bad already. I love Doritos, but this is so going to like, make me not I was eating Doritos, and then, and then it was Doritos that were on top of the fridge. And then oh, I was stale. saying that. Yeah, the low-key kind of stale, but it was yeah. fine. I'm fucking hungry. It's fucking teenage life. And then my sister's like, oh, I want some. And I was like, yeah, but I'm keeping the bag. And she's like, all right, just pour me some. And I'm pouring her some, and fucking roaches came <gasps> out. Oh! I know. In the fucking bowl, dog. Super grimy nation. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I was eating this shit. Like, it was it was oh, a lot. So definitely. That's fucking yeah. grimy, dog. Gross. That one is gotcha. Gotcha. There's that's my life. Shout out to me. That one uh, is fucking so shit. So from then on, I just started eating the tostadas <laughs> instead of the 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 Doritos. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that's Jose, you have any? Come on, come on, no. Jose. None. No, they don't have any in Oregon. They freeze no, I used to, to death. Work at a food stand where they just had a bunch of roaches. For real, like to eat? No, on the floor. <gasps> at what? a fruit stand? Yeah, they have rats. They have a bunch of shit at the fruit stands. Shut How up. much money would that food Which fruit stands? Oh, that's the Central Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Central, Central Valley, Valley, what's up, dog? What's up with you? Damn. Hold on, though. Please explain it. A fruit stand, like no. a frutero. No, a fruit stand. Yeah. Like, you know, you're on the freeway, and then there's a big-ass, like, fruit stand? They don't have those out here. No. Like what? Like, on the side oh, of the road? Oh, like, on the like side of the, side of the road. road. Oh, like, yeah, it says, like, get your like fresh strawberries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's not fruta picada. Yeah, no, no. like, I'm it's thinking, like, like, the, it's like a strawberry like stand. Yeah. For, like, this is what you buy to take home. Yeah. yeah they have, like, later. nuts like and... On yeah. the way to Fresno to Stockton area. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, that makes sense. The worst thing was rat droppings. Oh, that's so gross. Because there'd be, like, little package things, and you'd see rat droppings, like... Around the edge of it, uh, or they bit now, through it. Uh, now, oh. you know what scared uh, me. Now, you know what scared me cool. when, for when the homies was like, "If always clean your like your sodas or your beer before you drink it," and I'm like, "Why are they like full rat piss?" Mm. Oh god! And I'm like, "Oh, that's a thing." So now every I'm time I get a like, sometimes uh, I just like I put water on it. And I just Fuck. like clean it. Other rat piss. I know that's crazy. I, I, right? Why didn't you tell us sooner, motherfucker? Fuck. I mean, I just I, I find something everybody knew. No. <laughs> so we're drinking modelos. Make sure you clean it before. Uh. Wow. Modelo and rapist legends. Well, the ones that the bottles already have like a cover on them, right? The bottles. No, but it's on the on the top. Do you know when you pop up in the soda? You know. No, what I'm not talking about soda. I'm talking about the bottles. Mm. And I always, I I think I've said this before, but you know how they say don't drink the don't drink water if you've left it in the car. Because mm -hmm. it's like it gets hot and then the plastic and all that. But it's like, what about on the way they're transported here? They're transported in cars. I doubt like the big rigs have fucking air conditioning in the back. Like these motherfuckers are in the heat already. Like and when they're being transported. True. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. by the time it gets to us, they'd have been in hella cars and in hella places that's really hot. So you know what I do? Like all the hot water bottles that I leave throughout like the week, I'll just take them upstairs and put it in the freezer. And then I'll leave them there for like Three, four hours, and then I'll drink them after. 
Really? Like my water bottles. I don't think yeah. that takes away the. <laughs> that doesn't take away the, <laughs> the cancer. Bacteria. No, no, no. I mean, think <laughs> if it's been in the car, he just puts them in the plants that are in front of the house. Yeah. And he's like, there's just. I, I ain't gonna lie. One time I, I like assumed the water wasn't that hot when I touched it and then the jacket was warm. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since we were speaking of pests and we we're already grossed out, um, we're doing another version of CNR in your house. What would you rather have roaches? Rats or spiders? Spiders. Oh, fuck. Give That's your easy. Give your CNR. Oh, my CNR. Ooh. Well, it says in your home, but CNR. Oh, okay, yeah. CNR, CNR. Oh, fuck. Roaches could be the Ninos. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, why are roaches the Ninos? You got to explain that. All right, for roaches could be the Ninos just because they're not like, they're not deadly. Like, if they're cool, like, I'll just kill them real quick. You feel me? Just step on them real quick. They don't, you feel me? They run away from you. The pregnant shit. ones are always crazy. They always look I, so I didn't, I didn't, How do you know when they're pregnant? They have that little thing, the little seed sticking out. Oh, oh that's, damn, the roaches in the valley are active. I that's never roaches, at, period. Roaches the same after, like, men in black movies. Oh, yeah, the roach guy. Yeah, yeah so I would say roaches would be the Nino just because. <laughs> you could smack them real quick and they die. They raised you. <laughs> they raised the block. They raised everybody. Uh, the motherfuckers don't die. So yeah, roaches could be. Oh, the they name. don't and die. You have a homie named Roach. Stick, I do have a homie named Roach. Shout out Roach. Roach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Look. And if you're in Blue Beetle, you're gonna be play Roach. Yeah, Roach. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then spiders could be carnasada, just because they could kick it, but they could also kill you. So facts. Like they gotta go. You know, depends what spider. Facts. Yeah. That red belly one. Spider. A spider <laughs> and rats. Like spider. <laughs> like spider <laughs> and rats are fuck, bro. I'm terrified of rats. They disgust me. I don't know why they're a living. I, I don't know why they're alive. I feel like they should all be killed, torture, burn. I fucking hate rats. Okay, do know. It's because they're they're creepy. They're hella creepy. Rats are yes. ugly to me. What about Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> fuck that what about too. Mickey Mouse? <laughs> what about Mickey Mouse? Yeah, Mickey Mouse, cool, cool, cool. But what about that Master Splinter? Oh yeah, Master Splinter, yeah. cool. fuck him too. <laughs> Rats creep me out, bro. I don't know. For some reason, they're disgusting. I had a dream once that a bunch of rats fell on me, and I cried. Oh, shit. Uh, that must mean something. Yeah. What was one of back in the day? I don't know how I could answer these. You need more time? Yeah, go ahead, babe. Okay, so... <laughs> Vic already had it. Takashis are my rival, for they're sure. So stupid rats. Um, I would say spiders could be my Nino. Because, like, there's some cool ones that you could just watch. And, like, they don't get in your way, you don't get in their way. You know, I don't, I'm not like if they're in my house. Yeah, you have to like eliminate them. Hundred percent. But if they're outside, you just move around. You know, if you're outside in the Sada, like as long as they don't crawl on your shit. That's so they'd be my they'd be my uh, my Nino, and then roaches, I guess Carnesada because uh, I don't even know why, but at some point they gotta go. Yeah, they 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 will stick by your side forever. You know, in a in an event of a nuclear bomb. They'll still be around. So you got to give them credit for that. What about you, Leti? I don't think I can answer this. Like, legit, I'm trying hard. Like, which one I would make my Nino? Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I had to pick a Nino, it would probably be spiders. Because I'm low-key afraid of them. They're the OG. Like, I'm going to respect their space. Like, <laughs> the daddy long legs are low-key cool. Like, those are the only ones I'm cool with because they don't really fuck with you. They're just fucking there. Um but they're all they all scare me like the 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 thick ones scare me the freaking black widows scare me like the little jumpy ones scare me like yeah. all of that i i don't i don't kill them i have to call my dad or jorge to kill them mm. and they always look at me like you're so stupid like, just <laughs> fucking get a fucking paper um so that's why you know because they got all the respect um damn dog like, are, are we all choosing the same thing no we do we roaches mean Roaches would be carnasada. Fuck, because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the rat shit is crazy. Feed them the to rat shit is so crazy. Facts. Would you guys ever? Yeah, I'm, that's where I finish. Rats okay. are just cr crazy too. Would you guys ever appear on Fear Factor? And like do Fuck one of those crazy challenges. No. Remember all those like yeah. spiders have to crawl on your face for like I can't 10 even minutes. do the cricket thing. You know how they do those like fried crickets? Yeah, or, or when they made them it's eat called like something in like Mexicans eat the cricket things. Yeah, so I don't know what they're called. But I've tried the cricket shit where where they're already like they're already not cooked. in the candy. Yeah, they're cooked. Yeah, I, I, no, no, yeah. I, what is it called? Double cita. I, I don't know what it's called, but uh -huh. I tried the bolsita one, and then we just yeah. put limon mm -hmm. and tapatio. 
That shit was gas. They're crunchy. Wow. They're not the best, but they're. I, I ate a cricket one time at Universal Studios. Food Factor. They had them. Yeah, we should do Food Factor, man. Fucking all, you do that shit. Yo, Fear Factor was so out of pocket, though. They Damn, made Full Factor. Full Factor is they put your head in the, the cube and they just put lights on you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, they, you, a fucking Dwenda has to crawl on you. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, what would yeah. you have to drink if you're doing Full Factor? Patron. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Fucking. Uh, Fuck, you have the nausea for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Instead of underwater, you're just in a Nas chain. <laughs> uh, you have to get an Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what's going on? We have to crash a fucking Nissan Altima into a wall. <laughs> That's like, because you know how they always had the stunts with the cars? Yeah. <laughs> you have to fucking. You have to uh, do what that guy did with the mamalona through the tornado. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a Nissan Altima? Yeah. And then uh, I was talking in the trunk. Jeez. You have to fit. You have to fit. Fucking 15 people in Facts. a three seater. What'd you say, Josh? Uh, you gotta go 30 seconds of body. Damn. <laughs> fucking Josh. Nothing in the face. Nothing in the face. Bloody Knuckles. Oh, Bloody, Bloody Knuckles. Bloody Knuckles. Damn. Damn. I used to play that shit. That shit was not fun. And you are you to- nervous? <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's played Are You Nervous? Oh, yeah. Freaky people. In and the then comments. people don't know even know what that means. People we were didn't at- explain it. Yeah. Okay. Are You Nervous is essentially, go ahead, Vic. I so, love. Are You Nervous was like this like little freaky game that, I don't know, adolescents uh, invented. And it was basically like, you would start at the bottom of like a person's body, and it will be like, are you nervous? Sean Duna's like, are you nervous? No, no, sure, no, 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 we good, we good. <laughs> um, so, we're like, are you nervous? Are you nervous? And then it's like getting here, it's getting here, and then you're like, are you nervous? Are you nervous? And it's like, and no, then- are you nervous? And then it's like, are you nervous? Like, cause now, then you get nervous because you're like, what the fuck am I gonna touch? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're not nervous. I'm nervous now. And then uh, <laughs> I don't know who won. Whoever won. Yeah. <laughs> All of us. Everyone. I don't know. <laughs> That's are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever do? Are you nervous to a guy? No. I, well, it's usually guys that do it. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this game. It's an atrevido guy. Yeah. It was. It was not a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not encouraging people to play it now. Not at all. But on Fear Factor. (laughs) On Full Factor. Factor, Yeah, you have to play Are You Nervous? You have to play (laughs) Duno. On Full Factor, you have to fucking hop on the, what was the party line? The party line? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. And bang? Oh, in the Full Factor, you have to, like, walk through an enemy. Damn, you have to uh, cross out a tag. Oh, you have to cross out a tag? Oh, shit. And just stand there and wait to see if anybody comes. That would be sick. That's Foo Factor for real. Foo Factor would be crazy. Wow. I'd win if Foo Factor was down in a 40. Oh, that would be one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Foo Factor. Mm. We may, I don't know. Maybe we're thinking of something. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Joe Rogan started. Yeah. <laughs> he, was on, he was out of He's a Fear Factor. Like, yeah. He made people eat elk penis and shit. Yeah. Like, and they just did it. Same, same like he does now. <laughs> Low key, <laughs> nothing changed. Nothing's changed. Really. Um, but let's move on to the Edgar Report. Yes, the Edgar Report is finally back mm-hmm. after popular demand. Yes. It was really like there wasn't too much in Edgar news yeah. to report. I didn't want to force it. You know what I'm saying? But you know the Edgars have have came on strong yes. again recently. And um, Edgar. big thanks to Cardi B. The inaugural inaugural Shedger. Okay, so she got the Edgar cut on a wig, a pink wig. This is literally the Edgar cut. It's not like super anything to be confused with anything. She literally got the Edgar cut. That's crazy how she got the Edgar cut. And it looks good. Right? No? Nah. No? She didn't have an MCM backpack on. (laughs) You're so dumb. Or white Air Force. Yeah, I mean she did it her own way, so she's Shedger. She's Shedger, you know, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a thing, but, uh, big props to, to Cardi for being a trendsetter. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of But also shout out to the actual girl, Edgar Yaritza, right? Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah she's like the, she's also representative for yeah. sure. But Cardi B, <laughs> Cardi B with her pink hair. Yeah. What did you guys think I wonder that? because she's, she's out here. She lives out here now. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm sure she saw the memes. I'm sure she saw the comments. Oh, she's in. If she understands what she did or if she's like, what's that? What's that Edgar? <laughs> like, if she's just like asking around, like, what yeah. the fuck did I just do? I, I want wonder to know who the wig person is or like her hairstylist or whatever, makeup, style, whoever made that decision. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder like if she was like, 
out of in and out maybe <laughs> in the hood and then some food just came up to her like hey food can I get a picture <laughs> and she saw his haircut and was like damn I need that but in pink <laughs> I need that but in pink <laughs> yeah I took a picture uh, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> shout out Cardi for the Edgar yeah shout out to Cardi B yeah when we see you again, we're going to tell you what an Edgar is, if you don't already know. Exactly. Uh, but I want to just kind of move forward uh, a little bit and and bring up something that one of my friends at the radio station, shout out DJ23, uh, he was wearing these Vans, and I love the Vans. I'm like, those Vans are fire. Like, they were the checkered Vans, but, like, different color on every side. It was really cool. And he's like, oh, these are my, these are my beaters. And I was like, what the fuck is a beater? And it's a shoe that you wear when you just want to, like, when you're not trying to dirty, or when you know you're going to do something either dirty or you're not really trying to get ready. Do you guys have those shoes? Yeah, I have beaters all the time. I have, like... like I didn't know that. You didn't know that was a thing? No. Can I we have, talk about how beaters as a shoe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um... What's the best type of shoe that could be, like, a beater? Maybe, like, a little old white Air Forces. The Air Forces are, are good because they're, they're comfortable no matter what. Well, yeah, those are definitely... You're going to go put in some work. <laughs> Don't bring uh, mezcal there. Fuck. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, Air Forces work. You know, you can, you know, usually like when they're not like super, super white, you know, you kind of don't want to wear them. But if you like maybe, you know, shining them, shine them up a little bit mm-hmm. that you can use them. They're like passable. Just be like, yo, I'm chilling today. You know, I didn't bring out the extras. Um, they're like Chucks are would be considered beaters. Oh, wow. Vans. Vans. It's like your nice shoes that you'd take to a concert. To a like, concert? Yeah, it's yeah. Like they'll get stepped on. Yeah, you don't mind if yeah. they get dirty. Yeah, like, like like they go with the fit, but if you lose them, you wouldn't care. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like and and beaters are usually shoes that you could put on without having to tie them. So like my vans, I have them loose. Like these, I have to tie. I haven't worn these in forever, but like uh-huh. yeah. had to tie these. But like usually I have like the vans where they just I just put my shoe on and it's, I just come. It's kind of like your, your everyday shoe that that wow. goes with a lot of things. Like for me, like shout out to Clear Weathers. I've been wearing mm. those a lot. Like, yeah, I too, probably wore those for like a month straight, damn near. Like, they're comfortable. You can wear them. They go with like multiple things, and you know. Yeah. Wow. I learned yeah, something today. So I Thank think you guys. I think I think these your are, beaters are like the Puma, not like are. that. But no, these probably are. I just wear yeah. them. Well, they're nice enough to wear out, but I also yeah. don't mind if someone steps on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so those will be your beaters. You were wow. making your noctas your beaters. Which yeah, you were making a little, yeah. a little confusing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were doing. You didn't know you were doing that, but. I'm like, like, yeah, you wore them again. Like, those are like the nice ones. You hey, come on, put me in Nadia. I don't know, guys. You put, you put, them, you put like, them up in the closet. Put me in Nadia. I'm in Nadia. Yeah, it might be a little different for you. Yeah. Those, yeah. those are the ones that I like, yeah. like, like, if you get to the club at the section. I'm, trying you, to, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Like, like, when I have super nice shoes, nice shoes on and the section is packed or the clothes packed, I automatically just stand on the couch. Yeah. Because you're not finna step on these. Let's talk about that. It's always so hard to choose shoes when going to the club because you have to be fly, but also be aware that you're probably gonna get like some red liquid drink yeah. on your shoe at some damn, point in the night a girl's heel something people yeah. are gonna step on it and then it's just like damn like damn. it's always tough to to choose oh my god bro i've worn my ducks before the the common ones and they're the the tela's like very thin mm-hmm. and some girl stepped on her he- with her heels and she stepped on my shot toe oh oh i fucking like 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 i didn't like like push because she stepped on it i went like ah and then i just kind of like picked her up yeah like, <laughs> and she's oh, like, oh my god i'm so sorry and i was like you good you good you your good. toe still hurts from being shot yeah no well like, like, if, like if you're just caught like if cause she's, yeah because she didn't it's obviously a, she didn't yeah. mean to shot her she was very cool mm-hmm. when they're taking shots out there she was very cool nice. but like when she stepped she like stepped on it right because obviously like if i stub it real hard it'll be like ah. yeah. yeah you know it's still it's you know it's like it's obviously damage. there's not supposed to be metal in mm-hmm. your foot you feel yeah me? but then when she stepped on it and it was funny because all the homies were like hello extra because they know that's bad but she obviously she obviously had no clue she didn't. And then she was like, oh, hey, why were your homies laughing? I was like, oh, that's where I got shot. She, yeah, she felt like extra bad. Yeah. Like, she was just like, oh, my God. Did she give me head? No, she did not give me head. She was like, oh. cool. God. I don't know. I want this for you. A head? Yeah, I want her to fucking, she fucking hurt you. And then it was on your shot toe. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. Least she could do. I'm just nah, kidding. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I love this, Letty. Love no, this. No. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, but she still up, but it, but it did her. I was kind of like, ah. yeah, yeah, but that shirt, sure but it was cool. Dang. Is there something in your body that you felt like never got fully never healed? healed? My heart. Holy <laughs> oh, <laughs> sad cut hours. Speaking of Sombra Sala, 
Dude, we gotta announce. Somebody said Angie's not here, but yeah. she sent me the text of what she was gonna Shout say. Shout out to Maya and mommy. Shout out to Maya and yeah. mommy. She has a d- appointment checking her thyroid. So, so pray for Maya and mommy. Her what? Her, her thyroid. Her it's in her neck. Oh, I was like, wait. So why is it thigh? Thyroid. It's n- it's not spelled like a thigh. It's oh. It's just called T Y T H Y. I was like, I thought so Angie was getting like a BBS. If you haven't heard of the breakup already, it, everybody's talking about it. Sombra Sala, Vic and Traviesa. It's over. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Damn. I, I was surprised I didn't see it in the Sombra Sala. Like, <laughs> the unfollow, like, the, the screenshot, the, like, just, like, her in the club, and then, like, me just, like, sad. Like, mm. you know, I, I'm oh, surprised I didn't see it. Yeah, sad boys. I didn't go out this weekend. You know? <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> you didn't go out or you didn't post? <laughs> yeah. I didn't go out. Come on, when Angie's not here, you're so much as you go. Yeah, come on. I didn't I go out. What happened? How did you feel, feel find out what was going on? Yeah, how tell me, I, tell me how you found out because I haven't told anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so look, so I'm not like like I feel like people. Okay, so we do social media, right? Yeah. So I feel like people think that's our only life. Like you guys, I honestly have a like, life. Like yes, like I I've been the main group check that I check is like. I have the no jumper one, I have the brown bag one, and then I have the ones with the homies. And if I'm honest, sometimes I forget to reply. And sometimes I forget to reply to the bad babies. It's just like that. I'm not always on social media. I'm not focused. But I was talking to one of the homegirls, and she's like, hey, fool, you seen Vic's tweets? And I'm like, Vic's tweets? Like, no. But I, and, then, and then I see the one where, like, man, I'll be watching music videos hoping that you're not in them. <laughs> and I was like, and I just thought you were being funny. I was like, oh, no, I was being Vic. funny. But I, was like, that, I would still think he's with her. No, no, I me too, and right? Tweeting that, that's yeah. funny, right? And then yeah. she was like, "Yeah, man, you know Vic, yeah, you know Vic, you know." And I, I was like, "What?" I was like, "I don't know." Yeah. And then she's like, "Yeah, I want to go check him. Him and his girls still follow each other, and they don't." Damn. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "That's some girl shit." Some for real. So then I was like, "Maybe she's just fucking with me." So yeah. I want to go check each other, your guys. So they needed some guy shit. And then I just, and then I want to go, and I was like, "Oh, they don't follow." But then I seen Travesa was at the club going crazy. And I was like, ooh, Vic, nah. I'm like, did Vic let her out? I never kept her in. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> she just been at the club more than since we met her. Yeah. You know, sometimes one person finds somebody. Sometimes another person finds themselves. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So, yeah, like I said, I didn't go out. You know, I, I just stayed in. Um, Get the fuck out I had of a here. very wholesome weekend. I swear to God, you guys didn't ask me about it, but look, I was Theo of the year. <laughs> I was Theo of the fucking year. You were this you. Weekend. For, for, for you were with I your spent, little baby. Yeah, I spent so much time with the family this weekend. It was it was so dope. And then Sunday, I s- chilled all day by myself. Yeah. And it was nice. I hadn't done that in a very long time. Did laundry, you know, whatever, like uh, teeth whitening, face masks, just all the, you know, taking care of yourself. Sunday. You know Let's what I'm saying? Go. Self care yeah. Sunday. Yeah. And just just for the record, as a as a team, as a whole, we all have love for Traviesa and whatever happens, so happens. Yeah. yeah. And so that's just as like no hard feelings. Yeah. The, I think it's good mm. that we addressed it so that it's not like ooh, <laughs> like or drama or like gossip. Yeah, it wasn't you know? dramatic. Like I won't get into you know. No, the no, no, it's good. You don't have to. But it I think literally just wasn't dramatic. Porque ya sabes la gente. Like yeah. they're gonna make it more than what it is. So it's yeah. good that still have a lot of love for her. Everything you know. I hope. You know, we we we're cool in the future and stuff. Like hey, that. I'm 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 hosting La Santa on Saturday. Let's go. Okay. Yes. Yes. We're going to my friend Sam's club after this. Yes. Sam's club. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 Free samples. Yeah. And then we're gonna have a meeting greet where Vic in his caption put he wants to glaze in their eyes mm. at the meeting. I didn't want to glaze yeah. in their eyes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that's you, that's oh you. shit! <laughs> you know what I mean? Gaze and glaze. That's oh. Shout completely glaze different, notice. but we could do both, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you so got not, white so tanks on. Do? What? <laughs> Especially if you have white tanks on. I'm, I'm just saying. Do you have brown shout outs? Brown back shadows? We are. Uh, Nick has one. Oh yeah. Shout out Tony. From Stylistics Car Club, uh, met him over the weekend. He is a uh, custodian at Londell High, and he nice. said that we make his shift go by way faster. He puts us on his headphones. Shout out to him. And he really loves us. He's like, man, you know, I've been wanting to meet you. I see your dad, you know, post you all the time. You know, really big fan of you and, and oh, Letty and Duno and, and the go. podcast. So yeah. Shout out to Tony. That's crazy to think that, like, because obviously Tony's older, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's crazy to think that people like that 
think I'm cool. They think you're funny as yeah. fuck. Because you should be like, oh, fucking little fucker doesn't learn. You know? Nah, well, they bro. think that too. Yeah, <laughs> they, 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 think, cool. they think you're funny as yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's endearing. That's fire. Um, and also, shout out to all the drivers out there, the Uber drivers and the Lyft. You probably have to change it when a person gets in the car yeah. and put it to the radio. But like, shout out to you for listening to us in between the drives. Damn, I oh, wonder yeah. like, if an Uber driver's ever like been playing brown back and then a, someone uh, like, comes in and then like, oh my god, Thank can you? you can you turn it up? Yeah, like I love this episode. That would be yeah, dope. Would and be I'm funny. like, wow. And then uh, we have one more. I think this is from Maximo. I'm pretty Max, sure. Maximo. So Danny this... Rodas in Logan, Utah. Yeah, That's Maximo dope. is was at a wedding. Of his uh, family, and his family cousin. or his cousin's like, hey, I thought I heard you on Brown Bag. Like he didn't know that Maxim was a part of Brown Bag until he heard his voice. Yeah, that's crazy. That huh? happened to me at a family party too Amazing. in San Diego. Uh, I don't think I told you guys, but or I don't think I said on the podcast, but I had a cousin. Shout out to you, Karina, I believe. She, <laughs> you believe? Yeah, I'm, I don't want to get her name wrong. Oh, yeah. Uh, she said she's like, oh my god, like I didn't know that that was you. Wow. I didn't know we were cousins, and I listened to you all the time. And then she's yeah. like, can we take a picture? Because my friends aren't gonna believe me that you're my cousin. Oh, so cool. Yeah, that's cool. That Jose was cool. And that's Josh, does that ever happen to you guys? Since you guys are more behind the scenes. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Why don't you ever say that? Oh well, no, but people be, they come up to me for sure. Like that's hard. Yeah. Same, right? But Josh's face is is um like like it's been shown a couple of times yeah. like yeah. the real fans when they see Josh they know like oh yeah. fucking Why you, Jose? no 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 yeah it's because he's driving a lot yeah it's not his fault um well shout out to everybody thank you for tuning up to episode 52 yeah we're really happy shout out to all the brown bag daddies out there spend some time with your kids with your family this weekend um you guys are great oh when i was at the mungia fight i was walking to like get drinks and i just hear brown bag they don't even say my name anymore it's just uh, brown bag but that's brown cool bag? like even getting that call you just Hell like yeah. what's up like, oh a fucking was a call i actually do have somebody i fuck, i went to the beach and um and there's like a Vons right before like where we go at the at the beach by Malibu, so we always go there to get shit. We always buy our chicken there, like our sandwiches or whatever. So we're buying it. Some some drunk ass dude just like you know like part like in the aisle we're like about to pay and he just goes like the, <laughs> and then he goes back and then I'm and the homie's like oh like, he's about to recognize it and he just goes, I do know. Yeah, I and I'm love like that. yeah he's like brown bag, but he's drunk. Yeah. Like, so his homie has to like maneuver him like. This way, this <laughs> way. Okay, stand here. Can you get a picture? I'm like, yes. And he's like, and then, it's, 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 and then for those cool taking pictures with cholos, because you always see the different gang signs, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like, it's always some crazy, like, oh, shit. Yeah. But I'm just always like, Aww, and then they'd be like, yeah, fool, chunk it up, homie, chunk it up. Nope. And I'd be like, not doing <laughs> I'm not that. Do that. But I'm like, you chunk it up yourself. Yeah, I'm very proud of you. I'm going to give right. a thumbs up. <laughs> well, shout out to you guys, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. 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 Buy your tickets now. Thanks.